You are here on episode 5 of the Beetlejuice, my GM, the greatest wrestling figure of all time, Beetlejuice. Subscribe to the Gaming Time YouTube <laughs> channel. Here's the history of our winners of the women's tag team titles in 2K22. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the other videos. Now let's go check out our current roster in 2K23. Here we are at the recap. We have our Universal Champion, Brett. The Hitman Hart, he lost his title but won it back. He has an 8-4 record, two-time Universal Champion, one-time MVP. Then we have Bailey, our women's champion. Started off bad, but she's turned it around and she's killing it right now. 9-4 record, one-time women's champ, one-time MVP. Giving her that card where champions just win their next five matches has really just uplifted her. She's unstoppable now. We have the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, at a 6-6 six six record, two-time Intercontinental Champion, and he is our current Intercontinental Champion. We have John Cena, our first Universal Champion, who is now our current Tag Champ, first to reach 10 wins, 5 losses, two-time Universal Champion, one-time Tag Champ, two-time MVP. We have John Cena's tag team partner, the Dead Man, not someone to forget, at a 6-2 record, one-time Tag Champ, one-time MVP. We have Asuka, which she started off phenomenal. No one was ready for her, and then it turned out Bailey was, as Bailey made her 6-6, six six, one-time tag champion, and our current tag champ. We have Natalia, who like her tag champion partner, Asuka. They both start off hot, and now they're both slowly declining, as Natalia 7-7, seven seven, one-time tag champ, one-time MVP. We have King Nakamura at 5-4, one-time Intercontinental Champion. We have Gigi Dolan at 7-5. Can she win a championship? We have the Rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin at 6-4 in a feud with Hulk Hogan. How will that turn out for him? We have Logan Paul who almost turned things around. Won the Universal title against Bret Hart thanks to Beetlejuice helping him out. But now he lost it and he's dwindling at a 5-9 record. Three-time Universal Champion. The most times anyone has won that Universal title. One-time MVP. We have Bianca Belair, who started off our women's champion, and we have not been utilizing her, and she's 4-7 and seven right now. One-time women's champ. Bailey really abused her and got up a lot of wins against Bianca. We have Shayna Baszler, the queen of spades, at a 5-7 and seven record. One-time MVP. We have The Miz, who is not going well against John Cena right now. 5-8 and eight record. One-time tag champ. We talked about John Cena being the first to 10 wins. We have the first person to 10 losses. Hollywood, Hulk Hogan, NW for life is not going well as Hulk Hogan was killing it in 2K22. He's being killed in 2K23. 2-10 and 10 record, one-time tag champ. We have Raquel Rodriguez, came over from NXT to SmackDown. Started off hot, not so hot anymore. 2-5 and five record. We have the glorious Robert Roode at a not glorious record of 3 and 9. We have the legend, the icon, the Hall of Famer Lita who came to SmackDown because she's new to the game. We lost her because of money. We brought her back and she has a 2 and 8 record. Was that the right decision? Who knows? It's time to see who was the best wrestlers from the last episode. The Beetlejuice Slapnuts MVP award and the male superstar is... John Cena, the cover athlete, the man went 4 and 1 last episode. He dominated. He is our MVP. Never give up on them. And our women's MVP is Bailey. She wins it back to back weeks, and Cena wins it back to back weeks. Story is done. We've ended the. We continue to try to save money, so we use a gold contract to extend one of our legends by four weeks. We choose Stone Cold so we can save that money. After using the golden contract negotiation, we used our health spot, and we had a tough time between choosing between Bailey and Cena, but Cena has 13 stamina, so we go to give the champ some room. Then we use our golden injury rehab to bring back our champ, Brett, as soon as possible. We start off SmackDown, title on the line, Cody versus Robert Roode. Robert Roode picks up the win and finally wins a championship on Friday Night SmackDown. The Miz does some advertising, which we're okay with him losing pop. Asuka versus Shayna, one-on-one. -on -one. Asuka finally gets a win, getting things turned around, starts a rivalry. Bayley, The Miz, and Bret Hart have three of the highest pops. Natalya versus Lita, steel cage match. Lita picks up the win, continues their rivalry. Like we said, we're okay with these three losing pop. We need the money. Hogan versus Stone Cold continuing their rivalry. And Hollywood Hulk Hogan picks up the win. On to NXT, we have Rowdy Roddy Piper versus Randy Orton in an Iron Man match. And it's a draw. 
And Randy gets injured. Oh, in a mediocre match. Xavier doesn't know what he's doing. Shotzi versus EO Sky. And Shotzi picks up the win, which you do not see EO do that often. Brock versus Veer, which Xavier loved this matchup. And Brock picks up the win, defends his title. Ooh, starts another rivalry between the two. Zia Lee versus China. Steel cage match. And China picks up the win, starts a rivalry. On to Raw, we have another Iron Man match to start it off. Eric versus Razor Ramon, but this time we have a winner, and Eric gets injured. Ooh, two injuries. We have Kevin Nash calling out, I don't know his name, Apollo, and Mr. Higglesby versus Akira Tozawa and Drew Gulak. And Drew Gulak and Akira Tozawa will pick up the win. I am stumbling right now. Liv Morgan does a promo. Rick Boogs versus Rich Orikawa, and Orikawa picks up the win in a great match. Then we have Cruz Del Toro doing a self-promo. Fatal 4-Way, Nikki, Rhea, Stacey Kibler, and Kibler? She picks up the and Karen. I may be fumbling words, but we're winning right now. Love that shit. We have Bianca Belair hitting up Beetlejuice, telling us she's been on the bench for a long time. She has. She wants a match. We tell her she's got it. Then we have The Undertaker saying he likes to stay humble, but he wants money. That's why we've been building up advertisement, to, so we don't get trouble with money. So if we say, you know what, take her, take the money. Why not? You're a legend. You deserve it. After Robert Roode beat Cody for the title, it goes again on this episode of SmackDown. Robert Roode picks up the win yet again. Ooh, he's on momentum right now. We have to get that money back from Undertaker. Bailey does advertising. Cena versus The Miz versus Shinsuke. Triple threat. And The Miz wins when we put him in those multi-man matches. Continues the Cena rivalry. Taker, we gave you money, you're losing pop. Get us money back. Steel Cage, Lita, Natalia, Bianca Bella gave Bianca what she wanted, but Lita picks up the win, continues Natalia's rivalry. Logan Paul does some charity. Then we have the Universal title on the line. Stone Cold versus Brett versus Hogan, and Hogan is on fire as he wins. <laughs> on to NXT, we have Shotzi versus Beth Phoenix in a TLC match. Shotzi picks up the win. Stays hot, continues their rivalry. China calls out Zia Lee. Then we have the North American title on the line. Piper, Otis, Cameron Grimes, Mace. And Cameron Grimes picks up the win. Starts a rivalry with Piper. Dewdrop cuts a promo. MVP versus NXT's Hulk Hogan. Not ours, because ours is better. MVP picks up the win. Continues their rivalry. EO Sky cuts a promo after losing. Carmelo Hayes, Dolph Ziggler, tables match. Xavier loves this rivalry. And Carmelo Hayes picks up the win. On to Raw with Tyler Breeze, tables match, Finn Balor versus Rick Boogs. Finn Balor picks up the win, one of the most dominant wrestlers we've seen on this GM mode. Nikki A.S.H. Pick, cuts a promo, Braun Strowman versus Cruz Del Toro, one on one, and Braun Strowman picks up the win. He says, without Finn, you're nothing. Tamina cuts a promo, then we have Kevin Nash versus Apollo Cruz, one on one, and Kevin Nash, big sexy daddy, I don't know if that's his name, picks the win. Karen calls out. At Caden, I don't remember. Bruno San Martino, Iron Man match with Akira Tozawa. Akira Tozawa picks up the win on Raw, and we're still on top, baby. Ain't got no match for me. We have Shinsuke Nakamura coming up to us saying he could do more for the brand. And he says he wants a main event match, and we say, you know what, Shinsuke, you got it. Bianca's tired of losing. It's not our fault. We use another health spot. This time on Brett, we wanted him to lose because he's too tired. On to SmackDown, we have Asuka versus Shayna Baszler, this time in a steel cage, and Asuka still picks up the win against Shayna in a great match. Logan Paul calls out Bret Hart, no title anymore. Natalya versus Bayley versus Gigi, triple threat, and Bayley continues to stay hot, but it's a mediocre match. Cody does some charity now that he's no longer a champion. Bianca versus Raquel, Lita runs in, we gave Bianca what she wanted, and it's a disappointment. <laughs> Stone Cold does some charity. I see title on the line. Miz versus Robert Root versus Shinsuke versus Undertaker. Robert Root defends his I see title. On to NXT. We have this time Brock versus Dolph in an Iron Man match. Yet again, the champ cannot be stopped as Brock picks up the win. No promos. Do drop versus EO Sky after EO Sky cut a promo and EO Sky is back on her winning ways in an okay match. The champ, Cameron Grimes, immediately defends his title against Carmelo Hayes, but he defends because he is that man in an amazing match. Beth Phoenix versus Shotzi, rematch, no TLCs, and Shotzi doesn't need it as she picks up the win. On to Raw, we have Drew Gulak, Andre the Giant versus Apollo Crews and Bruno San Martino. And Drew and Andre pick up the win, and Drew Gulak gets injured. Rhea Ripley cuts a self promo. We have Mansoor versus the Demon Kane, one on one, and Kane picks up the win in an okay match. Farouk comes in to say, damn! And then we have Cruz del Toro versus Braun Strowman, one on one. Braun Strowman continues to beat Cruz del Toro. Then we have Liv calling out Tamina, continues their rivalry. 
women's tag titles on the line. Kate and Carter, Nikki versus Karen and Charlotte. And Karen and Charlotte can't be stopped. Speaking of can't be stopped, we're on a roll right now. We are on fire. <laughs> I got a lot of wrong, brother. We have Bret Hart coming up to us and he wants a new contract. It's all right. We have a bunch of money. But not only that, we have a contract extension. So we hit Bret with that, hey, we are going to extend you, buddy? He's like, what? Extend me? Okay. Then we have Triple H telling us Bianca versus Raquel was a terrible decision, which, hey, sometimes it happens. Robert Roode wants a match in Toronto. You got it. Natalia's not feeling well. We tell her she can rest. On to SmackDown, we have Hollywood Hulk Hogan versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Stone Cold finally picks up the win against that red-hot Hulk Hogan after Brett came back from the spa, calls out Logan Paul. Fatal 4-Way Taker, Shinsuke Cody versus Robert Roode. No title on the line, and Cody picks up the win. So Shinsuke and Undertaker rivalry. Shayna calls out Asuka after all those losses. Bailey versus Natalya versus Lita. Title on the line. And Lita's your new champion. And Natalya gets injured. We completely forgot not to let her wrestle. Bianca does advertising. The Miz versus Cena one-on-one -on -one continuing their rivalry. And you can't see him. On to NXT. We have another Iron Woman's match. Ali Brawler versus China, And China picks up the win. They love their Iron Man matches this uh, episode. Then we have Brock defending his NXT title versus Mace. Brock picks up the win, starts a rivalry, no promos. MVP versus Carmelo Hayes, can MVP finally pick up a win? Nope, continues to lose. Carmelo Hayes, still hot. I started there. Zia Lee versus Ronda Rousey versus Dewdrop and Eo Sky for the women's title. And Dewdrop is your new women's champion. We have Liv and Nikki versus Rhea and Charlotte. Tamina runs in on Liv, giving Rhea and Charlotte the win. We have Caden Carter calling out Karen. Then we have another tag team action. Braun and Rick Boogs versus Finn and Cruz del Toro. Fought solo, but now together, Finn and Cruz cannot be stopped. I'm stuttering. Kane does a promo. Razor versus Bruno. Tables match one-on-one. -on -one. Bruno picks up the win. The living legend is here. Mansoor cuts a promo. Then we have Andre the Giant versus Apollo Cruz in an Iron Man match. And Andre the Giant picks up the win. We're on top, and we're getting real close to WrestleMania. And we're getting close to the end of Season 1, which I don't know what happens after that. We get Tyler Breeze trying to screw us over yet again. Tyler Breeze declared war, making our power cards more expensive. Triple H saying fans are tired of Hogan Austin. How? Natalia's upset we broke her promise. I won't lie. Really forgot. Was just trying to continue the rivalry. Gave her a chance at a title. I, I dropped the ball, but sure. Logan Paul comes up to us, hey boss, hey Beetlejuice, I want to be a good guy. And I'm like, okay, man. We mentioned the rivalry, we need Natalia back. I mean, it's her and Lita, WrestleMania, she has to come back. We're going all out for WrestleMania. Tables match, Miz versus Cena to end the rivalry. And Cena picks up the win, two of our most popular wrestlers. Classic. Bret Hart does some charity, doesn't get a match. Lita versus Natalia, no title on the line. Screw Natalia. Lita picks up the win, classic, and she gets injured. Undertaker does some charity. Robert Roode versus Cody Rhodes. Icy title on the line. And Cody Rhodes wins back his baby in a classic. In my soul. We have Bianca doing some charity. She didn't get a match either. Hell in a Cell, Shayna versus Asuka. Can Shayna finally get the one up? She doesn't because Shayna is not ready for Asuka. Logan Paul does some charity. We don't turn him face, because why not? Steel Cage, Hogan versus Stone Cold. No title on the line. Doesn't matter. Hollywood cannot be stopped. On to NXT's WrestleMania. Steel Cage, they copied us. Zia Lee versus Io Sky. Io Sky can't be stopped. Io Sky gets injured. She does get stopped. Shotzi versus Dana Brooke. Still no promos. Shotzi picks up the win. You know, this is the most Xavier Woods thing to do. It's just random matches. MVP gets the title match in the last standing match. He wins the title. He beats Brock Lesnar. He's your NXT champion. I, what is going on? Dewdrop versus Ali Brawler. Last ma woman standing. Dewdrop retains, though. Mediocre. Veer versus Axmum in an Iron Man match. I just don't understand. It's a draw. That You know what? That fits NXT. On to Raw Extreme Rules. Title on the line. Liv and Caden versus Charlotte and Karen. And Charlotte and Karen pick up the win. Defend their women's tag titles. Nikki A.S.H. does some advertising. Razor versus Farouk versus Edge. Hell in a Cell triple threat match. And Razor Ramon picks up the win. Starts a rivalry. Omos versus Apollo Crews. Backstage brawl. Apollo went from one giant to another and lost yet again. Apollo gets injured. Okay. Finn Balor versus Rick Boogs. Backstage brawl and Rick Boogs beats the former WWE champion and they both get injured. Mansoor versus Kane versus Andre the Giant. False count anywhere and the Giant picks up the win. I think this is it. We won season one. We are on top. Ready. I have some beetle nose. Look at him. He looks like a superstar. You look like a glasses. superstar. 
This is it. We beat season one. It's the Slammy Awards. We got the most flip flops, most roll changes. Okay, Beetlejuice. Look at them. This is the first time I've seen this. M Mountain Tainer, most giant superstars on their roster. Okay, the Legacy, most legends hired in the season. I mean, we ran out of money. I mean, that's pretty self explanatory. We would have hired more. You see what it is. We're number one. We don't have any champions. Did you, did you see the statistics? A. Highest total. Look, we could dominate on everything except for the average card quality. And then you can see right there, this is our summary scene of the most matches. We've boosted up Natalia so much. We have no champions there. You see the accolades we did. Logan Paul had the best average. If Bianca Belair, the most weeks injured. That I'm very sorry for that. You see NXC. You can see no women's champion, but they got MVP. You can see all the statistics. Wow, Hogan had the... Wow, Randy had injured a lot. Raw, there we are. Oof. We're on top, huh? We we are the guy. What happens next? 